Hello Sagittarius. This is a pick a deck reading for the 26th through February 1st. We're going to see how your person feels about you. So you guys go ahead and pick deck one, deck two, or deck three. You can pick all three. You can pick two of them. You can pick one. It's up to you guys, okay? As long as you can get a message out of it that resonates with you. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here with deck one and see how they feel about my Sagittarius. How do they feel about Sagittarius? How do they feel? How do they feel? A lot of them are wait waiting on you. Um, I feel like this person is expecting you to come back um, or wanting you to come back, Sagittarius. But I think that some of, some of them feel like you guys are moving on and looking for other opportunities here. Aries energy. They don't want you to. <laughs> I think this person wants to tell you the truth. Um, maybe that you know they're not dating if you've heard something. Um, or either call you out on if you like if they know for a fact that you are dating. They want to call you out on it or even ask you, you know, why haven't you called them or why haven't you spoken to them? You know, there's a lot that they don't know. Um, but I also feel like, you know, this person possibly had someone else at one point on the side that you did not know about. But I think that that's over. For those of you who that resonates with, I feel like that is definitely over. I feel like they have walked away from that person and um, they are wanting to come your way. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Hmm. Yeah. And they feel like, you know, they feel like you guys have moved on. They feel like you've moved on. They feel like you're you're waiting on better things here, okay? They feel like you know the truth about whatever it is that they did. And um, if it was a three-party situation that they had you guys involved in, uh, they feel like you're not with it. You're not with it. Um, that you only want to be involved in things where you know only is two of you where both of you can support each other and that's it no outside influences here they feel like you guys strictly want a committed relationship but you're not having anything less than that period all right they feel like you know the truth and I think they want to discuss whatever it is that they've done here okay yeah they're heartbroken over this they're heartbroken over what they did. Um, if you guys did anything to them, um, they're, they're still they're still focused on this. But I think most of this is the fact that you guys have given up on them. Okay? They feel like you no longer um, are willing to invest in this situation. Period. Okay? So that is deck one. Let's see. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here, um, Pisces energy, okay, maybe Aries. So let's move on to deck two here and ask the question, how do they feel about my Sagittarius? How do they feel? How do they feel about Sagittarius? How do they feel about Sagittarius? Hmm. They feel like you guys don't give a crap at this point. That um, you're focused mainly on yourself. That you're trying to get your money up um, and you're just trying to live your life and really kind of just block out things that you feel like are negative, including them. 
Hmm. You're no longer giving your attention to the situation. It's like, you know, I'm done, I'm over it. There you have it. Hmm. I feel like this person is trying to get your attention. And I don't think they're seeing anybody else. I think there are definitely people that are attracted to this person, Leo energy. But they don't want other people. They want Sagittarius and Sagittarius is not um, having it right now for some of you. <clears throat> because there's too many things that transpired in the past, I feel. Hmm. They're holding on to you. It's like they want to be happy. Um, they have this false, they have this false happiness that they are portraying you know to other people and they probably come across as like overly um, sweet and you know overly um, what do you call it like they're just happy-go-lucky but they're not they're not because they're holding on to you they're not paying attention to anybody else some of them are probably drinking going out a lot um, but they're not entertaining anybody. Five of Wands there. I feel like this person brought a lot of conflict your way. Um, I think that, you know, you guys disagreed on several things. Like, you just were not on the same page is, is what I'm getting. Like it was always something here. Hmm. It's bothering them. If you guys are not communicating, it's bothering them that you guys are not talking right now, not communicating. It's really bothering them. I feel like, you know, they know that um, there is something that you have every reason to feel like you don't want anything to do with them. And they, they know that. There's some truth that you guys have found, found out here. There's some truth that you found out about this person and they know you have and they feel very, very guilty about it. Very guilty about it here. Very guilty. And I feel like they are like, this person's drinking. This person's drinking. Um, here you are again. It's like, you know, you hated to walk away, but you know, you know, it's what's best for you at this point. Um, you're not moping over it anymore. It is what it is. It's what I'm getting here. So we have Scorpio energy here, Pisces, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Aries, Leo is here. Okay. So that is deck two, you guys. Moving on to deck three for my Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What's going on with the person that Sagittarius is thinking about here? How do they feel? How do they feel about my Sagittarius? How do they feel? There's a lot in question for them. Um, they don't know what's going on with you. Um, I feel like you guys are not talking. 
there's something very mysterious about you right now because I get the feeling that you know you were you were really open before as far as communication but um, I don't feel like either one of you is speaking with the high priestess here Pisces energy hmm I think they're working they're working a lot um, I think maybe they have you know people in their family that they have to take care of here maybe they pay child support um, maybe they are they are a single parent but um, yeah I feel like this person this person feels like um, you're not willing to give this another chance here with the nine of wands in reverse They're, they feel like you're done and over with it like you've been you know you feel like you've been beat down enough okay or they've been beat down enough this could go vice versa guys five of cups yeah um feeling regretful feeling like all is lost somebody's not happy here uh whatsoever When they're not working, they, they're probably at home. They're, they probably sleep a whole lot. And I kind of feel like you guys may be sharing um, dreams, like communicating in your dreams here. Even if you're not communicating, I feel like that. Um, you guys are probably having dreams about this person. Scorpio energy. And the Knight of Swords. I feel like you guys are just want to move forward here. Um, th there are lots of things that you want to say and communicate and be truthful about, but uh, not with them is what I'm getting here. Or at least somebody here. Whoever this is. Um, somebody feels like they already know the truth and um, that's just it they don't need to communicate with the other person about it somebody I feel like um, has probably involved the other person in a situation where um, one of you is married or was married or in a long term relationship and um, somebody stepped out Somebody stepped out and I feel like somebody found out about it. It was like, it was a hard pill to swallow, but I feel like, you know, the other person is just, you know, even if it was just a rumor or they just heard it, they didn't know it for sure, but they feel like they know all they need to know about this situation and um, is moving forward for whoever this is for, okay? King of Cups here. Hmm. Yeah, and I don't feel like, you know, somebody here does not have any more emotion to offer to this situation. I feel like this person, this person is very emotionally stable at this point. I feel like this is you, my Sagittarius friends, um, because I feel like, you know, you guys are just kind of working right now for a lot of you and, um, it's like you you know the truth about the situation you don't have any more energy to devote to it and you just really want to move forward with the truth that you already know nobody has to clarify anything for you it's like it's done it's over with don't worry about it with the five of cups you know it's done it happened it's over with um and i'm moving on okay so maybe this person you know was married or either um you guys were married and they involved you in um, a situation where they had somebody else they stepped out and um, you're just over and done with it but this person is feeling so regretful so hurt by it um, and I feel like they still you know are, are wanting you guys back they want you back at the end of the day they want you back they want the ten of pentacles with you guys they want to be with you they feel like, you know, you guys were solid at one time and you can be again. I don't think you guys see it though. All right, guys. So that is your pick a deck reading and I will be speaking with you guys soon.